Well, hello folks. Here in Alberta, we're currently under an extreme cold warning. Temperatures are around about minus 30 degrees Celsius. So what better thing to do than come to the great outdoors and try some of those viral winter weather experiments that some of you might have seen. So let's take a look and see if they work. Thing that we're going to do is try the Empember effect and what this is is boiling water thrown up in the air where the molecules in that water react with the cold air and it creates snow. So how about making your own chocolate ice lollies on a freezing day like this? So let's see how they freeze. And how about an egg? How do these fare in these kind of temperatures? So let's see if this experiment worked. Yes, it did. Excellent. <laughs> let's see if the, uh, the ice lorries worked. They're not quite frozen yet. They need a little bit longer. Well, we're starting to lose the daylight now and things are starting to get extremely chilly. So we're going to head off home and we're going to do the rest of these experiments tomorrow. Okay, so we didn't finish off all the experiments yesterday simply because we started losing daylight. So we're going to give them another try today. And the first thing we're going to do is we have some balloons here filled with tap water and there's a little bit of food colouring in there. We're going to pop them out here, let them freeze and then see what they look like a little bit later on today. Now while those balloons are freezing, the other thing we wanted to try was making our own chocolate ice lollies from chocolate milk. These are typically Christmassy. And again, it's around about minus 30 degrees today. So, kind of hoping these little experiments work. going to leave these for a couple of hours now we're going to come back out and see see what happens all righty well it's been a couple of hours now since we set these balloons out here in those little chocolate lollies so uh, let's take a look at how they've turned out I'm just going to cut the balloon away from them and see what's underneath. It's certainly uh, pretty solid. Wow! Look at that, that is pretty impressive. <laughs> oh, a little bit of a ice breaking out. <laughs> that is so impressive. I really don't know whether you can see that. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the other two. Looks like it's the, it's 
might be the power. This is very, very impressive. The last. That is awesome. I'm not sure if you can see the different shades in there, but that is really, really pretty. Now let's take a look at this last one. Oh. <laughs> wow. I have to say, I do believe this one is actually the best one and I don't know if you can see in the light there but this one's got a couple of shades in there but wowzers oh you can just see a little bit of movement in there as well where perhaps the water hasn't quite frozen as much but I'm impressed I have to say I'm very impressed I think uh, Gandalf would be pretty proud of these uh, palantirs that's for sure Either that or they uh, would make an excellent scene from Game of Thrones, not that I've actually ever seen them, but they certainly do look like dragon eggs. And what's pretty amazing is that these are literally just blocks of ice that have um, been frozen in a balloon. I'm, I'm really happy with how they've come out. And you will recall that we did, of course, go to make those chocolate ice lollies. We've had a little bit of snow, so they're a little bit hidden under here. But... Um, from what I can see, not surprisingly, these have worked pretty well. So, uh, oh, yeah, they have definitely frozen in there. Come out. There we go. <laughs> the chocolate milk lolly. That is very good. Probably not the right kind of weather to be eating it. A chocolate ice cream but uh, certainly very tasty and one of the other things I did want to try today was doing the bubbles um, those frozen bubbles in these kind of temperatures look absolutely fascinating but it's just been a little bit too snowy a little bit too windy to do that today and it was a little bit likewise yesterday but here's a little bit of footage of what we did catch yesterday I hope you've enjoyed watching these little wintry experiments with us this past couple of days. They do of course come with a warning. Doing these kind of things in frigid temperatures such as we've experienced is no joke. So please, if you do give them a try, make sure that you wrap up warm and you keep that exposed skin covered to prevent frostbite. And if you have enjoyed this kind of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel. If you've got any other ideas that you'd like us to try when, these, when we get these kind of temperatures again, please do comment below. Otherwise, I hope that you'll join us next time.